Hello, hello, hello. My name is Damon Levinsky, and in this coming tutorial, in this short tutorial, uh, I'll be going over how to create a tail using dynamic curves in Maya. So, let's get started. Well, first thing after I've designed the character, tail, and so on and so forth, the first thing I have to do is uh, place some uh, um, joints. I uh, use my rigging shelf here, but um, basically what I want to do is first draw out a bone chain and I will go to my side view okay and I go to skeleton joint tool it also is up here those who are new to Maya um, I'll just join uh, draw out a simple joint chain and I'll name the joints. Now I like to use Digital Tutor's naming convention just because uh, I think it's pretty smart. Uh, they also put a lot of thought into it so um, why not use it? So basically it goes like this. Um, BN which is bound bone. Uh, it's the description of whatever the object is then I put an underscore then usually uh, we'll say if it's uh, left right or center and if there's no description of where it is um, basically if this is you know just a tail um, just give it its description tail right and then if it's the first one in the chain give it an A and zero one. Why zero one? If I import um, another reference or another character who has the same name, afterwards I'll have some trouble, so it will number it up. Okay, so I copy this, go down the chain, paste, change the A to a B, enter down the chain, and do it to all the bones fairly quickly you know, this is the boring part but what can we do last one after E comes E after E doesn't matter because this is the end bone so instead of BN I put BE because it's an unbound bone and tail instead of the A, I write end. All right. That way, if I need to select this bone, it's very easy for me to get to it using uh, the selection tools up here. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is a main controller. What the main controller uh, let me do is two things. One is move um, the rig about, scale it up, scale it down, do all of that stuff. Um, secondly, it will also help me um, give the base a certain control to it and it will let me uh, parent it to the main um, the main body. So before I do that, let me just open the outliner. All right. The outliner, uh, those who don't uh, aren't familiar with how Maya uh, shows everything, is basically our um, bank of all the objects that we have in our scene. At the moment we have a bone chain and as you see in Maya all right, um, everything is in a hierarchy so I could see all my bones that I have and you could see them drawn out as, in, as a hierarchy. All right, So here's the king, the knights and then all little you know, subjects. It's the feudal system. All right. So, above all of this, what I want to do is I want to create a controller. So I'll go to uh, create NURBS circle. Um, I'll give it a name. The NURBS circle itself. All right. Um, let's get out of the attribute editor and go to our. Um, control here uh, 
and I'll give it a name. I'll call it CC for control curve underscore uh, tail. Okay. And I want to rotate it. So that's fairly easy. I press E will bring me into my rotate tool. If I press J and move it, we'll move it in increments. So now it's exactly 90 degrees. I could also write down 90 degrees over here. I'll freeze its transformations. Okay, so I go to modify freeze transformations, or I could, of course, you know, do it here as well. I'm just pressing um, my right hand side uh, mouse button, all right, over uh, my translation or one of the translation or rotations. I get these options here. All right, so now basically, um, what the way we used to do it in the old day, olden days is uh, take uh, IK handle, okay? Um, just create an IK handle, all right? And we'll have to animate it. And like you see, it acts in its own own way. I don't want to use an IK handle. I actually want to use a dynamic curve, and will give me a secondary action. And to do this, I basically have to create the secondary curve um, first. And the reason is because I'm going to use the um, IK spine tool. Now, the IK spine, what it does, it connects uh, these joints. If I show show to you, let me just reset the tool. Okay, and close it. If I create, see, basically, oh no. Didn't reset the tool, so I'm going to. Why didn't reset the tool? Okay, so it's not resetting the tool this way, so I'm going to just reset the tool this way. Okay, now it's reset. Okay. Basically, what it's done, if you look, it's created a curve inside. Okay, and the IK spine, once it's created the curves, it's create as many control po uh, points as it, it wants. I could tell it how many, but you see, uh, bas basically it creates these control curves, and then you can animate these guys however you want. Um, but that's not what we want to do. We want to control this exactly the way we want to control it, and we want it to be in the 